what's up everybody we are back on the Tacoma today it is the X runner that I did the clutch in and what we're gonna be doing is doing a clutch master cylinder and you got to remove the whole clutch pedal to do this but here is the master cylinder you got a hose right here then you have your hard line that goes right there two bolts and then that goes up into the clutch pedal but you need to remove it as a whole assembly to do this we have to remove parts of this right here your under piece for the dash and remove this cow piece right here we gotta go into the engine bay disconnect the lines stuff like that so let's get started that up as long as you don't break it try to pull this out where are you and then there's there it is Make that come out somehow. It just lifts right up, I guess. Come on. Get that. Let's set that to the side. Pull this back. Through that seat. And now we got 10 right here. I uh, don't believe there's one over here. Now we gotta pull some of this stuff out. Yeah, yeah there's, just, there's something over here. I have to see where it's at. I don't want to break my finger now. But there's gonna be a tent over here. I think there's a tent underneath there as well. And then we can pull this out from around the e-brake. That's what that is. That's where it goes. Because this whole piece will come out as one. And then there's going to be a connector right here. I don't think there's anything behind that. And then you can just disconnect that. Let me get this down and I'll show you how everything comes off. Okay, we got it hanging down. There is a connector for your mirrors right here. And then, let's see if we can get that out. I'm trying to set y'all up real quick. See if we can get this out. Oh, pop down. There we go. That pops out, and there you go. It was two tins. There was one behind that door, and then one on the front. And now we can get up underneath here to our clutch assembly. Let's make sure we got everything. Because we need to pull this whole assembly out as one unit. So there's going to be two bolts that hold this to the firewall. It's going to be one on the bottom. Let's see if I can show y'all. One right there. And then there's one up top. How well y'all can see it in there. There's one right up in there. But I got to disconnect the start switch right there to neutral safety it's got to disconnect that and then we're going to go on the firewall and disconnect a few sensors uh not sensors but a few lines that connect to that too because they do go through the firewall and attach to the master cylinder it is this hose and where that black port right there that black port comes out see but the metal line threads into there and just like the little rubber line goes to right there. So let me bring you outside and show you where that's at. So here's your lines. Disconnect it right there and then just use a hose clamp to take that off. Oh not a hose clamp but a pair of pliers to take that off. That I believe is a tin. Let me make sure first before I tell y'all that. Oh yeah, that is a 10, and it breaks loose fairly easy, which is good. So, we take this off, take that right there off so we can pull the clutch pedal backwards, and we should be able to disconnect everything once we get the clutch pedal out. So we got the two nuts off, they're 12s actually, not 10, but you can see it moves. And we're going to have to drop the fuse box right here real quick because we're just going to lower it down so we can get to the top of the clutch assembly. There is another bolt on top that helps hold it in place, which I forgot about that one. 
but we're going to do that and looks like there's one two three ten millimeters that holds this on and you can do it right there right there either one then there's one in here and get my finger right right there then there's one on top right there get y'all in there come on there it is so let me take those three out move that down and then i'll uh, probably have to get a wrench in there and do the top one here is our clutch assembly and this is the pedal the master cylinder all in one unit the other bolt was right here it's 12 millimeter but you gonna have these two 12s right here this hard line that runs snakes up that's the hard line that runs to the brake booster here's your rubber line that runs right here up to there you can take it off both of them if you want to i'm gonna try to take it off just right there and then once you take these two 12s out this right here i don't know if we have to get anything in there and pull that out or if it'll just pull out uh, we'll find out once i get it off so let me take these off whenever we get ready to pull that out i'll bring y'all along so we can try to figure out how we take this off Got the bolts out here. Here's your 212s. And now I'm just going to see. Get that off. Oh. I guess it just slides out. So this one right here is plastic. And you can see down in there where it's been. Where it was leaking kind of a little bit down inside of here. Hmm. Let me go get the new one. I don't know if I showed it to y'all. Here's part number CM800080. That is Power Torque. Got it from O'Reilly's. Not a sponsor, but that is who we got it from. See the new one? Here's the new one. You do have to adjust the new one. You have to tighten it up. And we're going to look at the instructions. Make sure there's no pre-rec stuff we got to do before we do that so let me read these real quick everything is on i got these tightened down so i gotta put the hard line and the rubber line on there but what i did was i measured from this point to the tip on that one and i just made it the same as i did on this one now that's how i adjusted it i don't want to do the same adjustment on both of them because that one right there was good to begin with so this one right here should be good too and this portion is thicker than that one but the overall length actually from here to there is the same too so you can go from there to there but i gotta put these hoses on tighten this back down and then after i do that we can start putting it back in the car truck whatever you want to call it tighten this down right here but we'll put it back in and then i gotta bleed the system i'll probably have to get somebody to help me do that let me go ahead and get this prepped, get it back in the car, and then we can start putting everything back together. And whenever I get through, I'll bring y'all back and we'll pretty much close out the video. I'll show all the torque specs and how much fluid and all this stuff uh, at the end of the video. Got the clutch on, got the lines tight, get the hose clamp on. I sprayed everything off with some brake cleaner. That is CarQuest, not a sponsor, but that's just the brand that he got. Uh, this is for the used car lot. So um, now I'm going to get him to help me bleed the clutch real quick. And it does come from your brake master cylinder. So make sure that it is over full. It's going to take a little bit to get it to pump and bleed out correctly. Whenever you press in the clutch, this will probably happen. Watch. See how it sinks to the bottom like that? You're just going to have to get somebody to kind of pump it like this. Hold it. Bleed it. And you probably going to have to pump it probably... I don't know, probably 15, 20 times the uh, of bleeding before you get it to actually bleed out and start getting hard. So it's probably going to take you 15, 20 minutes to do this. So I'm going to get somebody to come help me real quick. I do have to jack up the car a little bit and um, get underneath there because you have to bleed it at the uh, transmission where it goes in the slow cylinder inside of it. So you gotta bleed it right there. But we're gonna do that real quick and get him to help me. And then once it's done, I'll bring y'all back, show you that the pedal is pumped up and that it is working correctly. 
then we'll close out the video. Now I'll let you know about how much fluid it took too. We got it complete now, got it bled, went through about a whole reservoir worth of fluid. Uh, we just used this right here. But we did go from max down a little bit to the min, probably about right below it. Then I filled it back up until uh, it was about level with the cap and then I brought it back down to the uh, max level. So like I said, it's probably about a complete reservoir full of uh, brake fluid. Let's show it to you. it does collapse and return but if you have got any questions comments concerns let me know in the comment section i'll fix it if i can or on the next video i'll try to show y'all more if y'all want to see more like ride loans or something but if you enjoyed the video please like subscribe and uh, push that notification bell uh, if you didn't like it please let me know why you didn't like it or look see if there's anything else on my youtube channel that you do like because it does help channel grow and i do have the shirts the hats the stickers all that stuff and y'all remember torch site y'all have a great day